Derek Morgan was born on March 4, 1875 in Paris, Kentucky. That's where Morgan spent his childhood. And at age 14, Morgan moved to Cincinnati, Ohio and became a handyman. In 1895, he moved to Cleveland where he worked as a sewing machine repairman. There he developed several successful enterprises starting with a sewing machine repair service in 1907, also a tailor shop in 1909, and a hair straightening company in 1913. The most important of his various inventions was a breathing device that served as the prototype for the modern gas mask. In 1914, the National Safety Device Company awarded the Morgan Safety Hood first grand prize. On July 25, 1916, Morgan demonstrated the use of his invention by wearing it as he, among with others, rescued 24 trapped workers from a smoke-filled tunnel beneath Lake Erie. The city of Cleveland awarded Morgan with a gold medal for his heroism, which led to a contract with the United States Navy to develop his hood for combat use. It was used in World War I and by fire departments throughout the country, although some people canceled their orders when they found out it was a black man who came up with the invention. Morgan did not let that hold him back. In 1922, Morgan patented the three-way automatic traffic signal. Before this time, traffic signals had no yellow caution light. Morgan's signal gave drivers a warning to slow down before a red stop light. Noting the marked improvement in traffic safety, the General Electric Company bought the rights to his invention in 1923 for $40,000 compared to today that's almost worth $700,000. In addition to his work on safety devices, Morgan was involved in civil rights work between 1920 to 1923. He published the African-American newspaper, The Cleveland Call, and he was also a long-standing member of the Cleveland branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. If you like his story, please like, share, and subscribe.